Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Darius from DariusCooks.tv. And listen, I am on this keto kick, and uh, I know what you've been waiting for, so I'm gonna deliver. It is going to be the cauliflower mac and cheese, okay? You gotta see this. It's so simple, um, but it's gonna be easy and it's gonna be delicious. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I got a whole head of cauliflower that I've already basically cut up into uh, florets. You can actually see that this is all washed and all ready to go. I've got some water that's starting to boil. I wanna salt it pretty good so we can get some flavor in. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just drop in this cauliflower. So while the cauliflower is working out, check me out. I've got some cheeses here because you can't have a uh, mac and cheese without cheese. Like, you could totally use the cheese that's already shredded, but I kind of think that when you shred it yourself, you're gonna get a much better finished product. So let's talk about what we have, okay? So I have a block of cheddar cheese, a little wheel of the most delectable smoked Gouda you've ever seen in your entire life for that sort of stringiness that you have to have, mozzarella, and then for a little personality, we've got a little bit of pepper jack cheese. So I'm just gonna get to shredding all these cheeses and get them ready for the mac and cheese. So the cauliflower has been cooking. It's ready to go ahead and drain it off. All right, so let's make this amazing cheese sauce that we're gonna mix with the cauliflower and then get off in the oven. It's gonna start with, you guessed it, a little bit of butter, some heavy cream. All right, we need a few more things to make this taste really good. And so I've got some mascarpone cheese. If you can't find mascarpone, which is really available at most grocery stores, so if you can find it, use it. If not, cream cheese works as well. But I'm gonna use the mascarpone cheese because it's really, really good. And I'm gonna start it out now, that way it can melt into the sauce. Before I add the other cheeses, I'm gonna go ahead and season this up. So I've got a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder, salt, and then we're gonna throw in some black pepper. Give that a stir. So the butter and the mascarpone is melting up really nicely, nice and gentle. Why don't we go ahead and let's add in all these cheeses that we've got mixed up. So we've got the mozzarella, we've got the cheddar, the pepper jack, and uh, we got that smoked gouda running through. So this is the cheese sauce right here, ready to go. So what I wanna do is I wanna add in some sour cream. Keeps everything nice and moist when it bakes off in the oven. I love that. I have a little bit of a thickener that's approved for keto. Pinch of xanthan gum in here. So we're gonna go in here and stir that together. In go the cauliflower and we'll get that all mixed together. And then, before we put it into the casserole dish, I've got a little bit more of the cheese that I wanna just mix in and mix throughout. All right, right into here this goes. Ugh. Look at that. Smooth it out a little bit, make it look pretty. It smells divine. And then you guessed it, <laughs> we're gonna top it with a little bit more of that shredded cheese mixture that we made up. That way, it browns up really nicely. Oven's preheated, 350 degrees. This is gonna go off and bake until it's bubbly, brown, and delicious. This cauliflower mac and cheese has been in the oven. It is bubbling and golden brown. Let me show you what we have. Oh, look at that. 
The only thing this needs is a little bit of parsley right on top just to make it look really pretty. Let's go in and grab some of the mac and cheese out of here. Ooh. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna go in for a taste. I mean, look at that. I mean, how bad could this be, okay? Keto cauliflower mac and cheese. It's hot. Mm. If you need a mac and cheese fix without the pasta, this has to be it. First of all, the mix of cheeses is astounding. The creaminess that you get in this whole plate, I mean, come on now. Uh -huh. um, that xanthan gum has really thickened this up quite nicely. There's a crust on top. I can't stop eating it. I mean, it's that good. You gotta try it. The recipe, you know what's gonna be on my website, DariusCooks.tv. There's two things I wanna tell you as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, I gotta wish you a happy cooking. From my heart to yours. Bye, y'all.